day three, the so day one prep, sanded back all of the VJ lining, gapped, filled. Yesterday, spray pretty much everything with a nice solid coat of primer. We gave all of our undercoat very light sand, especially interior wise. Which brings us to top coat today. That we're going to be doing all the VJ lining inside. I'm going to spray out two coats of top coat and then I'm going to tape around the windows and we're going to be spraying with the tint trim product as well. So a fair bit has happened since we were last here. Firstly, that was last year. I know it goes so quick. And I did say at the start of the video that we'd have this finished before the new year, but a few things happened. Brisbane rained for two weeks. Doesn't make it easy for finishing an exterior off, but the old man got very impatient, hooked in without me and finished most of the exterior, which is good fun. But we're still here to spray out gutters. We're using Tint's Doom, which I'll show you soon when we get set up with the sprayer just how nice and deep of a black that is. It'll be good fun. And the exterior color at the moment is gray matter. The interior is finished. That was with our refer to the stars. I was super stoked with spraying that. We're gonna tape up the bottom lip now of all of our gutters around the exterior of the pool cabana. I don't want overspray to smash the safides or any of the parts that we've already painted. So first, I'm gonna show you how to set up my biggest life-saving machine. Equip hand masker is quick. You, can, you, you don't have to buy the pre-tape stuff anymore. So all you need is as many rolls of tape as you need or a box of tape, some paper and some film, and you can just mix and match what you're using. And it's gonna get the job done a lot quicker than before. But iQuip, thank you. This is all on our website and the Go Prep It kit with a hand masker included as well. You get what you pay for and it saves you time. So happy days. So the good thing about this is that I'm going to show you another trick so this doesn't happen with the wind. We're going to grab some tape. Because I've got a box of tape, I'm going to use a few fresh rolls and I'm going to just actually hang them off the paper here. This is a cool trick that Painting by Josh in Newcastle showed me. Check out his YouTube. Super handy videos for DIYs. It's got to keep our paper nice and straight so it's not going to flick back up against our gutters. Because we have an abundance of tape rolls left, this is a pretty cool trick to keep our paper from flapping up in the wind and being highly annoying when spraying. So all we do, tack up a bit of tape, secure it to the paper, and it's a cool weight. You can use clamps if you've got anything hanging around the shed that can tack onto this as well. Thank you, Josh, for this cool tip. Time to move backwards, and we're gonna do this around the whole length. This is sketchy. So I'll move this. I'll do the same technique along the other sides when I'm spraying, and I'll just change it. Just change it. <laughs> Make sure it tacks on properly. All right, we're gonna jump off. We're gonna finish off this front side of the gutter. And I'm actually tempted to hook the sprayer up and get the first face sprayed out and then dump the gun in some water, tape up the second side. Should all do it at once, but because the wind's getting up, time is not on our side. And I really just want to spray things because we're addicted to spray and we're addicted to tint. We love tint. Now, spray is off, no material, I've got it all set up. I put tape over my switches so I'm not gonna get messy with paint and touch them, happy days. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk out my hose and make sure it's nice and straight. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you through the process of setting it up. Right now, the machine is under pressure. It's in spray, we've just put paint through it. That's great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust my pressure just above prime. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray a few test patterns to make sure that my spray pattern is seamless. So you'll know straight away if you're using too small of a tip or you're at too low of pressure because you'll get two definitive tails in your spray pattern. And I'll show you here. There we go, so that's coming through right now. So you can see that this is actually, there we go, that's already blocked up. So if the tip is blocked up because I'm not at a high enough pressure, 
I turn it around the other way. I go to my waste pail. I give it a few squeezes. That'll be like a jet. So when you tighten the water hose, that actually goes a little bit tighter. I turn my tip back around and that'll give me my spray pattern again. So again, look at our spray pattern. So this pressure here is actually quite good. I might even drop it a little bit and just see if I can replicate getting some tail. Little either tail, little either block. No, that's pretty good. So I've dialed in. I'm going to get up on this scaffold. Well, not the scaffold. I'm going to get up on these planks now. I'm going to spray out these gutters in doom. I'm going to be very careful not to drag my hose across all this wet paint that we've just sprayed. And we're going to make it happen. This is going to be quick. Again, it's going to take a lot longer to mask that up than it is to actually finally spray a coat on it. So let's get moving. We're nearly done gutters today. As I said, I would have sprayed gutters first before tackling the exterior, but the old man gets in, gets it done in whatever fashion he wants. So we gotta work around that, which is all part of the fun of a um, enjoyable family project. I'm sure you've all been there before. So we're using the FFLP310. We've sprayed two coats on all gutters now, except for the back gutter. We've done one coat finished on this gutter. I'm not using a tip extension because I'm finding it a lot easier with the extension ladder due to the kind of constriction of space here to get in, lean back and get it done without having a 40 centimeter thing in my way. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the results so far. This is Tint's Doom. This is a low sheen finish because I want it to blend in quite nicely. The gutters to me aren't a massive feature point, so I don't want it to be kind of semi-gloss or a gloss finish. And we're going to move these clamps after I've sprayed this first section because we just had a clamp disaster where it brought all our paper down and we're gonna re-paper this last bit as well. So let's get it done. We're gonna spray this section out using both left and right hand. I'm right-handed, so if I look like a Gumby for a sec, that is why. Good fun. Where are the later? Check out our Instagram, message Tint, message us, get on board, have some fun, spray out some gutters, happy days. Thanks so much for watching this project. I'll close this off properly back in the office once we've finished editing. Mwah.